Hello and happy Saturday, friends, gamers, gamer friends. I'm Christine the Mean. This morning I am here to show you, display, discuss a pit war Benelux Esports versus MKMA. These are the two clans that will take each other on in week five of the group stage of the pit. So what do we have in store for us today? Well, 52 minutes, 53 minutes left on the clock. Let's start out and look at the hit times for pit, shall we? So we will expect our first hit to go in at 45 minutes. And then we should be expecting hits to happen every five minutes, approximately. Very nice graphic we've got there. Well, hello there, Raj, and hello there, Maquatro. And, and it's Ibon. Hi, I'm glad you're in. Good to see you. And Dimitri40 followed me a minute ago. I appreciate that follow. Thank you, Dimitri. So these are the hit times, which means we still have a few minutes to discuss. Pit. Let's hide this. So I, I did a war yesterday and some of you were watching, but okay, first of all, the first thing, whoops, whoops, that was not what I meant to do. Uh, there we go. Subman, 2002, hello. So the first thing, and good morning, Toots, Toots Megan, Toots Megan, Toots Megan, Toots me, Toots me a gun. Toots, you're just toots. It's too hard. The rest of that me gun is too hard. Okay, so the first thing that I want to discuss with you all today is extremely important. And it is look at this Benelux Esports logo. Check this thing out, okay? Benelux Esports went through a rebrand not too long ago. And this logo is a 200 IQ logo, in my opinion. So, first of all, I can't rotate it on the screen, but you know, Benelux Esports had like a lion in their logo before. And if you turn your head sideways, this is still a lion with like its eyes and its nose, and it is like a lion. And so the thing that's super cool about this is it's got the B, it's got the E, and it's got the lion but it's super stylized. Okay, this logo is 200 IQ. I just want to say this is like the, I am, I, I am, you know, I'm kind of a logo junkie and that thing has, I am just, it's brilliant. Whoever did their logo um, did an incredibly astonishing job on the rebrand. So, okay, that was the first thing I wanted to tell you about this war. <laughs> now, the second thing, that we should do is we should take a little look at how the group stage has been going for these teams in pit. This, let me tell you, when I pulled this group up, this is a tough group. Now, none of the pit wars are easy, but this is a tough group. Whoa, that's the wrong one. Brought a clash score. So if you haven't been out to clash score, go check out clash score, it's super cool. But okay, so their group, Space Station, Heavenly Zone, MKMA, Chicago Bulls, Benelux Esports, and Potomac Dotes. So, I mean, this is kind of a stacked group. So let's just start out with that. It's kind of a tough group. All right, so this is the last week in the group stage, and we see Space Station kind of at the top. Now, you know, they've only got four of their five wars done. Next, Heavenly Zone, they're sitting there at a three and two. So they've got five wars done, and right now they're they're ahead with that three and two. Um, but you know, some of these other wars might push them back down again. And then we have MKMA, who is in this war. They're at three and one. So if they go to three and two, they're probably below Heavenly Zone. Chicago Bulls is sitting there with one and four. Benelux Esports at one and three. And Potomac Doses at one and three. So, you know, here's the deal. For Benelux Esports, it's probably not going to be a move to the playoffs here, right? They're probably out. But they're going to put up their best fight ever. And if they are able 
to do something against MKMA today, they could actually knock MKMA out. So, <laughs> and if MKMA wins, then that's sort of a different story and they're uh, right up there with Space Station. So that is what this bracket looks like. I'm pretty, or not bracket, this group stage looks like. I'm pretty, I was pretty interested to see how stacked this group was because, you know, Benelux Esports um, has gone quite deep in a number of tournaments lately. And like, so I'm just, you know, anyway, they've, they've been performing pretty well of late. And so interesting to see them have, have this kind of a stacked group here. Let's hide that thing again. And we still have a few minutes. Let's introduce our teams, our teams today. Whoa. Okay. Well, I can't do that if my iPad's turned off now, can I? Let's give that a second. And you know, while I'm at it, it is, it is Saturday morning for me. And so it is coffee time. Okay. What do we have? So on the home team, we've got Hammy. Okay. Hammy. I'm good, Raj. How are you? We've got Hammy. Hammy played in my fantasy clash thing once. So I know Hammy. We have Storm. We have Helamal Mui. We have General Boo. And we have Tristan. So this is our lineup on the side of Benelux Esports today. It'd be fun to see how this crew does. On the MKMA side, we have LKY. We have Jang Yu. We have Flower M Sparkle. We're just gonna call this person M. We have 614 and we have YWW. So I don't know as much about those players as I do about the Benelux Esports players. Um, I have not had any of those MKMA players show up and wanna play Fantasy Clash with me. <laughs> but, but we do have a couple of the uh, Benelux Esports players who play sometimes. So, that looks like it should be a good match. Let's see, let's put a, let's, let's maybe, let's maybe do a poll. Let's start a new poll. Um, who wins? And this war and your choices are Benelux Esports. And your other choice is MKMA. And two minutes, let's go. All right, let's see how that goes. Let's see what you all think about who might win this war of Benelux Esports versus MKMA. Cast your ballots. And we'll see what you all think. I kind of think MKMA has a little more momentum coming into it. Um, so, you know, you hate to, but you hate to like call it. So, I don't know. I hope. I, I think and hope that Benelux Esports will still put up a good war. And maybe, maybe they win and they do kind of an upset thing on MKMA in the playoffs. So, here we go. First one is in already. It is Tristan. Tristan from Benelux Esports going to have a swing at LKY. And he has Inferno Drags and is putting in some tanking loons, coco loons, sending that blimp right into the town hall to kick things off. Out pops the dragon and loons with rage and they have taken down the town hall. So this sort of frees up Tristan to do whatever he wants with the remainder. We've got a couple inferno drags down at six o'clock working through the clan castle troops. I'm assuming that was a full pull with how far the blimp got. Um, we've dropped our king at 10.30, the wizard queen. So we're trying to get some um, funneling. And then we have all of these Inferno Dragons between, well, funneled in, funneled in very nicely. And in goes all those troops together, those Inferno Dragons, infernoing away on that Inferno. It's an Inferno v Inferno showdown. The dragons beat the uh, static inferno. See, there's the there's that hound. You know, the hound did not pop out earlier because there was only air troops in the blimp. So now we have to deal with the hound. 
Um, hello, Barricade 2 Punto. How are you? Barricade 2 Punto. Um, so we still have a whole bunch of uh, Inferno Drags up in the core. They are moving through. We've got this Scatter and the Eagle kind of on the back side that are still a little... A little tough. And did he drop down scally spells? I think that's a scally spell over here that's sort of distracting and moving in on some of these other troops while the royal champion moves in and will probably get down at that, um, that eagle at this point. A couple of inferno drags left. Still have a scatter. Still have queen ability. Uh, Warden just died. Our royal champion was working on the king. We had to use our queen ability to get at this point. Um, Eagle will now go down. 48 seconds. I I don't think this is going to be enough for a triple. I think that it is going to be um, a double. And we will say nice try. Good, good start to it there, Tristan, with the 79% double for Benelux Esports. All right. Maquatro says, here's the deal. Can only hear from Americans. Sounds always so dramatic. Are you telling me I'm making it dramatic? Are you saying I'm adding drama where no drama exists, Maquatro? Because let me tell you, Maquatro, here's what I think. I think that this is Clash Esports. And esports are all about the spectating. It's all about making it fun and interesting for the spectators. And if I sit here and I yawn and I pretend I'm bored, which I am not, how is that interesting, McQuattro? So yes, I'm dramatic. Now that was really loud. And thank you for the follow, Dylan8191. Totally appreciate that. It was a very good try by Tristan to kick this off. Toots says, nice try. Barricade Two Punto says, Tootsie. And hello, Ani Gaming Twitch. How's Ani Gaming today? Good to see you. It seems like I was I was reading one of your tweets this morning, but I can't remember what it was actually about, Ani Gaming. I, I was reading a lot of tweets, but I'm pretty sure you were in my tweet stream. Uh, okay, we've got we've got a little love fest going on in my chat between Toots and Barricade, so that's nice. Oh, about the viewer thing, yeah. Okay, you're doing good. Good, I'm doing good. Thanks. It's Saturday morning for me. We have a good, fun pit war here to, to, to do, and I have my coffee. So how could it not be a good morning? Oh, you played in Reddit Vortex with Barricade. Okay, so you have a long history of loving each other. That's good to know. All right, we have our second hit in, and it will be 614 against Storm. And it is, looks like it's a hybrid. So, looks like a hybrid. I think that's going to be a hybrid. Not just a few hogs, but still seems hybrid esque. So, we have our blimp going in there to take out the uh, uh, Inferno. Probably gets down the Royal Champion. Yes, we do. And probably gets that Expo. Oh, we've had a healer. What we've had? What, what are these? What's this healer out? I think that was an accidental healer drop here. And that accidental healer drop is going to be an accidental healer loss. Because, oh wait, no, 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 it's a, maybe it's split. All right, but anyway, the queen's going in here and that healer, that errant healer is coming back. So that's good. Maybe we just lost a healer. And the queen will take down this lava hound. And she will deal with all of these pups. And they're going to be an irritation. And, and 614 throws in a little minion to help with that little bit of work. Queen has broken in and will get down the eagle. Look at this beautiful pathing that 614 has cut for the hybrid. I mean, it just doesn't get much better than this. So in goes the uh, miners and um, the hogs. And the royal champion is in there. And the Warden ability was used through the Town Hall. Everything just moving beautifully in here. Now we'll see how the split goes up. And that scatter in the middle is a little scary. Um, we'll see if we get troops on that scatter in the middle. We gotta, 
because they seem like they're going to circle around it. The queen is on the outside now. She'll grab another Inferno Tower. The um, hybrid is all kind of around the perimeter up here. It's going to leave that scatter in the middle. Is like freaking me out. And the Royal Champion, I guess she's on it. Yeah, there we got it. Okay, that was really close on the Royal Champion. That was very close on the Royal Champion. A um, little bit of Warden action at 12, helping out. Still have Miners moving through. Still have Queen. Still have Queen ability. Still have Healers. Still have 40 seconds. Still have a Freeze. It's a triple. And I see that McQuattro has already called it a triple. Um, yes, Toots, he did Yeti the, at the start and got a Inferno Tower and the Royal Champion and an Expo and a couple other things. Nice triple there by 614 to kick off MKMA's party. So going, you know, after these two hits, two for Ben Alexi Sports, three for MKMA. That is super loud. Thank you for the follow, Jim's Ra, Jim's R Admin. Jim Senior Admin, that's who you are. You are Jim Senior Admin. Thank you for the follow. I gotta turn my speakers down because that is like very shocking when I get a follower. And it should not be shocking. It should be something for which I am grateful. So, yes, so Tootsie did. MLCW Senior, okay, now I know. MLCW did a fantastic thing and launched another round of esports. Excited about that. Barricade, thank you for the follow. So, and I saw Jim, senior admin, that MLCW made the perfectly wonderful announcement this week that their esports tournament would follow the world's format with the 545 um, format. And I think that is a great move on your part. You know, I'm on the staff for the Global Clash Cup, but it's a little too late for us to make that switch. Um, we had a whole bunch, you know, we, we, we literally had 500 clans sign up for our esports division and they all signed up under the premise of 15 and 60. So it's a little late to make that switch, but I think that is a, a great move by MLCW. It's a, exactly what I think we need. So good job by you and your staff for reacting quickly to the changes to the world's format. That's good work. All right, so we still have four hits on each side, which means that this is anybody's war. Yeah, Jim, you know, you, because it's still preseason, if a clan decided they didn't want to do that and wanted to drop out, they still could. You know, our problem at GCC was it was kind of like, it's just like the wars start Monday. It's just too late. I, it, it feels disingenuous to the clans who signed up to switch the format on them when there's not much opportunity to to make the decision about whether or not you want to play. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm a little jealous that your calendar was just slightly behind ours. But yeah, nice work. Nice, nice reaction there too. I've thought for a long, oh, we got our hit. Let's do that. Let's look at Hammy. So Hammy, Hammy. Okay, I'm going to just make a confession here that Hammy is my favorite Benelux esports player. And the, um, he has just zap quaked out that center scatter shot. And we have a Lava Loon planned here. Let's see how Hammy does with the Lalo. Little king action down here at six. Clan Castle is coming out. She's got a Super Wall Breaker, sends in an Ice Golem. Um, the Clan Castle is over here shooting that Ice Golem. The Lava Hound is on the Ice Golem. So we've frozen everything up, but the Clan Castle is still out. And it's like, see, it's like, it's like coming over. I don't know. The king's going to get distracted by it, and then the king is not going to take down the town hall like Hammy wanted. So now what is Hammy going to do? Because clearly Hammy had an idea in his head that that, that king-queen combo was going to go in there and get that thing down and free up his Lalo. Now he's going to have to do something else. All right, well, Hammy 
very smartly throws in the royal champion. She takes down the town hall. She's going to grab that expo. She's going to get these pups. And he can now proceed with his lava loon. Throwing in the slammer and a hound at kind of the nine o'clock corner with the loons and some minions and the warden. He's got another hound coming in, pathing to the next air defense. Um, the slammer is doing work, who hastes those loons. One of the hounds pops, freeze on top of the queen. And I think there's an inferno tower there, yes. The queen and an inferno tower. Bunch of loons there, hasted out. Enemy queen, I think, is dead from popped hound pups. We still have loons traveling through. Couple of freeze spells he's still got. So there's a bunch of, uh, defense is up in this corner still but he still has one freeze spell that scatter and that whiz tower are freaking me out and then one more whiz tower down here at at uh, the 430 zone that also could be trouble we do have cleanup troops circling 36 seconds left oh i think it's just not going to be quite enough hammy Hammy, I think it was a great try, but I think it's just not quite enough. I think the fact that we did not get the town hall down with the king and the queen meant he had to use the royal champion there. And if, if that had, if that original plan had worked out, the rest of this probably gets finished. So good try, Hammy. Nice attempt. So Hammy is my favorite Benelux esports player. And the reason is because Hammy has played in one of the Fantasy Clash events that I put on. <laughs> as a team owner and so i think that's cool <laughs> nice try hammy <laughs> hard time how is hard time this morning hard time and i had some good call of duty mobile fun last night running around the codm maps and uh we had one win a couple of twos and threes so it was a good time with call of duty mobile last night hd yeah, you know, HT, I was thinking maybe we should stream some CODM, but I don't know. We kind of have our squad that we like to play with, so, you know, maybe we should just keep playing. <laughs> Barricade is your favorite Benelux Esports player. All right, Toots. Well, we all have to have our favorite. I'll claim Hammy, and you can claim Barricade. And Jim loves the Storm Lalo. Hi, Victor. How is Victor? I think I want to have like a huge shout out right now to Victor because anytime I want to stream a pit war, Victor gives me all the graphics I need and makes my life as a streamer super easy. <laughs> so Victor, huge shout out to you. Thank you for all the help. Oh, Hammy, Hammy, you're, did, were you here when I said you're my favorite Benelux esports player, Hammy? I mean, you did, so it looked like if, you're, if your hero, Sui, had gotten the town hall, that was a triple hammy. It was a really nice try. Oh, yeah, hard time. We're going to crash Twitch. You know it. We might have to go over to a different platform. All right, we have YWW from MKMA. It's going to hit hammy. Hammy, let's see how your base goes. Let's see how your base holds to some Inferno Drags. So, got our queen at uh, 3 o'clock and an e-drag at 6, setting a funnel. We have sent in a uh, stone slammer and a bunch of loons with some inferno dragons behind. The slammer is going to go over there and grab that scatter shot. E-drags and loons on the town hall. Warden ability used saves all the loons through the giga explosion. And Slammer is going to move in towards that eagle. That'll be a nice thing to get that eagle down. It is sort of raining terror on the Inferno Dragons. So we now have the Inferno v Inferno Dragons versus Defense, where the Dragons win. Nice job, Dragons. And Scattershot left. Uh, like, what are you worried about? Okay, we're worried about this Tesla farm and this scatter. We've got our Inferno Dragons circling around. Oh, YWW had bat spells. I did not even notice that YWW had bat. Did YWW need the bat spells, or is this just like swag bat spells? 
Two loons left, a freeze spell left, and almost no base left. I'm sorry, Hammy, but YWW just, just tripled you. So, a nice attempt on the defense. Nice try. And good hit by YWW. That was nice. Um, let's see. Barricade's laughing with something. Toot says, you did negotiation when you read a Vortex for NDL with Victor. Victor is lovely to deal with. I just, I'm going to just, we'll just go out on a limb and say that, that Victor is lovely to deal with in all things. <laughs> We're going to have a love fest for Victor Vatima in our, uh, in my chat. That's good. Formal protest. What hard time? Why are you're like filing a formal protest? Rehit Hammy with a different comp. <laughs> hard time. Do you even play this game anymore? You think you've made a video recap. Oh, cool. Jeffrey. Hello, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Also, I would like to have a huge shout out to Jeffrey. Because Jeffrey is the one with whom I discuss when I would like to stream a Benelux Esports War. And Jeffrey is always very accommodating and sweet and helpful. So huge shout out to Jeffrey, who probably did all the negotiations for this war as well and is probably the clan rep. So huge shout out there for you. Um, he wanted to subscribe. <laughs> Yeah, not really. I know hard time. You don't really play. Yeah, he so he does. Yeah, Hammy. He does the work and you just have to play. Exactly. See, this is what I know about Jeffrey. So, like, you know, I've got all these people that I'm super grateful for showing up in the chat today. Uh, like Jeffrey for being a great clan rep and Victor Vatima for making all of my graphics and hard time for carrying me in Call of Duty Mobile. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Barricade is teasing. You're talking about Toots teasing everybody. Well, I mean, that's part of the fun, right? Okay, we are two hits in on each side. MKMA is showing some dominance here at the beginning over at Benelux Esports. I did pull up earlier the uh, uh, group stage standings for this group. And I want to tell you, Benelux Esports had a tough group. <laughs> you guys did not, Pitt did not make it easy on Benelux Esports. So the only thing that can happen here is that if Benelux Esports happens to win, it's going to be an upset for MKMA, and it'll be questionable whether or not they go to the playoffs. But it does not mean Benelux Esports. You guys are just out of it. But nice opportunity to play a high-level match. Um, hi, PK Nut. How's PK Nut? Good to see you here. Orca NIW. I mean, I cannot read that, but hello. So we have General Boo, General Boo, hitting M, and we have a Super Witch hit. All right, so, okay, so streamer warning, streamer warning, Super Witch hit that starts with Warden often ends in time fail sadness. So we've got the Super Witch hit starting with the Warden walk that I hope General Boo has a plan that does not end in time fail sadness. There we go. Got our super witches in there with the warden, the queen. Um, we've dropped a siege barracks at six. Raged um, through, well, something's there. What's there? I guess we have the clan castle is out and our heroes have taken that down quite nicely. Bomb shows up, town hall is down. Warden ability was used there. Uh, the Eagle is targeting the queen, I think. I think that's what's being targeted. We've got witches running around from six to nine clearing things. We have the hogs coming out of the siege barracks and we have thrown in our royal champion at three o'clock to work on that inferno compartment. The hogs moving in towards the nine o'clock compartment. Bunch of archers working on the uh, eagle. Eagle is down. Um, the Inferno 
tower at nine. It remained standing. The hogs did not get it. So we've still got super witches up and they're still under heel. We still have our warden up. We've got a headhunter in the tray, a couple wizards and an archer left. So there's still definitely some opportunity here, but we got a minute and seven, which seems like a long time until you remember it's super witches because they are beefy and slow. We've lost all of our healers at this point. Um, well, let's just see how this works out. 51 seconds. This is not clear to me if this will be, I just don't know yet, 45 seconds and I can't tell if this is a triple, a time fail, or a fail fail. It's one of those. One of those three options is gonna happen here for General Boo. And I don't know which one. 30 seconds left. See, slow, 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 slow. So General Boo throws in a couple of cleanup troops on those camps, trying to help get the troops to target the defenses in this corner. It would help if the 12 seconds, it would help nine, eight, seven. This is not gonna triple. This is gonna be somewhere between a fail fail and a time fail. I'm not sure which. It was a 98% double. Nice try there by General Boo with the Super Witch combo. Okay. PK not to busy with basketball. PK not, I thought that you were a um, football player. Oh, is Jeffrey General Boo? Is that true? Jeffrey, are you, is that, I did not know that General Boo was Jeffrey. What is with the, what's with the hiding it? Come on, man. I need to, I, this is something I need to know. I, you, I, I guess someone else, I guess you guys knew it. Time fail, it's the multi. Yeah, it was. It was the multi. I, Hammy, I did not know that Jeffrey was General Boo. This is just really unfair to tell me that now. Really unfair. I need like a player cross-reference. Actually, I do need a player cross-reference. Particularly those players that have multiple accounts. I want a list. I want a list. Now I know in advance. Okay, so General Boo is Jeffrey. General Boo. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to remember that. Okay, our third hit from MKMA will be Zhang Yu, hitting Jeffrey, the General Boo. General Boo Jeffrey is being hit by Zhang Yu. Um, he's got a Zap Quake Bat. Drag. Drag bat. This appears to be drag bat. Okay. Um, a little uh, e-drag action and royal champion to clear out a corner. We have found a Tesla farm at 11 o'clock. We've got our, our heroes going in at 3.30. Dragons and loons en masse heading in towards this scatter shot. Blimp. Early blimp going to the town hall. Zhang Yu did not want to wait on that blimp, wanted to throw it in. Uh, clan castle out, super minions throwing their caustic vomit up all over everything. Um, dragons and loons heading in towards the eagle. The blimp did get to the town hall and did take it down. We have deployed our bats and our bats are moving in towards this scatter shot. Oh, oh, he has to freeze that. Nice freeze timing there. Um, saved that entire flock. I think it's, are, are bats a flock or a cohort? I will call that a cohort. It saved the entire cohort of bats with the well-timed freeze spell. And now there is, I am going to say it, a metric shit ton of troops left. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is a lot of Dragons left and a lot of time and a lot of queen ability and Jang Yu has really just flattened this base um, with enough troops left over to take down a town hall 10. 
Sorry, Jeffrey. <laughs> this was a little bit of a... This got me... <laughs> that was really overwhelmingly powerful. <laughs> Very nicely executed by Jang Yu. That freeze timing. Mm, beautiful. Okay. Uh, PK not baseball, football, and basketball. Okay. Oh, that makes sense then. You do bitter ball? <laughs> Is that a thing? <laughs> I sit on my ass and drink coffee. Does that count? Okay. MKMA is proving why they have done so well in the this group of the pit tournament. Putting up three triples in a row. That's pretty impressive. Benelux Esports has had a couple of really good tries. A couple that were really close. I would love to see a triple or two out of Benelux Esports today. So who do we have left to hit? Um, Storm and Helamal Mui are left to hit from Benelux Esports. From MKMA, it looks like M. And we're going to call them LKY. So... It was basically two triples. It, it kind of was basically two triples. It was so dang close to two triples that so we'll count it. I'm going to count them just for you, Hammy, because, Hammy, you're my favorite Benelux Esports player. <laughs> so, so that means, that means I get to, we'll, 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 like in the informal tally, we're going to count those. But you're still losing. In the formal tally. A minute and a half left. See that that last hit was really rather overwhelmingly powerful and fast. <laughs> I mean, that was a uh, that was tough. So, all right. Well, should we look at the stats? Let's look at the stats. So let's look at what Benelux Esports has put up. Hammy had an 86%. That's one of them that you're calling basically a triple, right? And Jeffrey the General Boo with a 98%. That was the time fail, probably time fail, with the Super Witches. And we had a Tristan who kicked it all off with a 79. So... I mean, MKMA's got to screw up if you guys are going to win this one at this point. But you could still put up a couple triples. A couple of triples from Benelux Esports would be great. You still don't understand how the third zap was missed? Those zaps are so finicky, aren't they? I think they're finicky. Okay, we, got, we have a hit. We have Storm. Having a swing at Zhang Yu. Storm also with the Lalo. Zap, zap, zap. Quake. We have gotten rid of a scatter. So Storm is sending in a Ice Golem King, Sneaky Gob, Royal Champion combo to take out some of these uh, buildings at the, in the 6 o'clock corner. A couple minions. That multi-inferno is going to go down to the king. Clan castle is out and being dealt with by this Sui squad. Queen going to grab the expo. Probably will. So unfortunately, she's in range from that scatter shot at the same time that the hound pops and the enemy queen is on her so that was kind of unfortunate so storm is sitting there going oh shit what do i do and sends in the hounds and loons kind of wrapped around from 7 30 to 10 30. loons moving in towards the eagle tesla's behind a couple of haste spells down to get through that corner quickly Storm sends in the blimp all the way across the base to the town hall. 
We've got loons on the inferno in the center. Um, the blimp is going to get to the town hall. The loon's now moving into the 12 o'clock compartment. He's got cleanup troops down, or she. I don't know if Storm is a he or she. Uh, the blimp does make it to the town hall, takes that down. The dragon that popped out did not get a lot more than the town hall, though. We have the enemy royal champion is going to one by one pick off those balloons. She is quite a ferocious little thing, like one-shotting the balloons. So a bunch of minions and pups cleaning up. They will not be able to finish this off, I believe, with the Wiz Towers and the Royal Champion. They will all be killed one at a time. It'll be a slow and agonizing death as we watch the flock of minions and pups be one at a time picked off by the ferocity of the Royal Champion's Spear Toss. And Storm will end with the fourth very good try by Benelux Esports. Good bases by MKMA because let me tell you, I have seen Benelux Esports do amazing things and these must be very good bases. So good try there by Storm. One hit left for Benelux Esports, two for MKMA. All you could hope for at this point, um, Jeffrey and Hammy and anyone else from Benelux Esports, all you can hope for at this point is a um, loss of internet in China. Um, that would do it for you. Otherwise, <laughs> you're kind of dead in the water. <laughs> oh, they have internet. <laughs> I didn't really mean that. That's not fair play. Okay. We have LKY. Gonna have a hit on Tristan with a hybrid. So sends in the blimp, blimps out the scatter shot, pulls the clan castle out, rages up and gets through a lot of the defenses in that compartment, but we'll leave that expo up. Clan castle is coming out over to the queen. Poison is down. Queen's got her healers. She will now commence the arduous task of taking down this fine, fine lava hound. And she gets that down, the pups pop. LKY throws a loon into the middle of that. That's must be, we're gonna take down an archer tower. I guess that's gonna help to make sure the queen goes left. Is that what that's about? I don't know what that's about. Okay, I'm just gonna say I don't know what that's about. Maybe that was a, ten oh, that was a Coco Loon for the healers. Got it, took me long enough. Okay, so Queen, we went in. We got a couple of super wall breakers coming around. They are gonna wall break, not where LKY wanted them to, I think. I don't think that's where LKY wanted them. Nonetheless, so Queen heading around to the outside. Is she gonna skip the town hall completely or will she circle back in? remains to be seen. LKY says, yeah, I'm gonna put in my hybrid army and that's gonna force the queen into the town hall. So LKY drops that hybrid army, nine to 10. They clear out the compartment. Queen's got nowhere to go but into the town hall. So eventually she'll get around to it, right? Oh, she won't, the walls are open. <gasps> LKY could end up with a single here. We'll see. Does LKY have enough? I was sure the queen was gonna go in and grab that town hall, but she is moving around with the troops on the outside. There is the Inferno in the middle, a couple of expos over there by that town hall. There's a hell of a lot of troops left, 41 seconds. We still have our queen ability. We still have royal champion. I just don't know the pathing over to the town hall. It's kind of it's kind of rough. And there's not so much time left, and I think that LKY has just put up a single, which is not expected. T 
totally not expected. Do you understand how they threw that? Big choke. You're going to forget this war? Well, okay, except that except that you defended against MKMA for a single, or Tristan did, so you have to take that. Victor. Victor is looking with wide open eyes a bunch of times. <laughs> all right, well, I thought that this was all over for, for Benelux Esports, but... You know, if MKMA puts up two singles, then and you triple, you triple out here. I guess there's still a possibility. <laughs> so that was not. I did not expect a single from MKMA, but I mean, they kind of could afford it if they're gonna, if they, you know, we'll see. I, I, I don't know what to say about that because it was very unexpected. All of my commentary regarding the status of the war is completely invalidated by the unexpected single from MKMA. Yes, it is. Victor's, it is right. It is their time. It is their time to triple out and show us what they are made of. So all of that pressure is on Helamal Mui to show us what Benelux Esports can do. Put up a big triple, Hellamal. You've had all of the time to plan. The last hitter, you know, the final one from the team who's supposed to bring it home. It's time. It's time to it's time to show us what you're made of, Benelux Esports. It's time to show us you can hang with MKMA. So we'll see if that happens. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just see if that happens. So it's going to, I think both of the final hits come at five minutes. I'm going to take a quick peek at the hit times just to remind myself. Mm, hit times right here. Five minutes left. Okay, so these are the same as the Global Clash Cup hit times, except a tighter window, which means they're both likely to happen at the same time. And we are going to watch the hit by Benelux Esports because I have high hopes for a triple from Hella Mui. That's why. And then we'll watch whatever MKMA puts up a we'll watch at second. So we'll watch whoever goes in first. And if it is Hella Mui, we'll watch the entirety of that. If it is not, then we will watch the beginning of the attack by M until we see that Helmomui is live. So that's what we're going to do. That's my plan. Here it is, M. So we'll watch the beginning of M's hit. And as soon as it goes live uh, on the other one, we'll go, we'll pop over there. Okay, M from MKMA has Inferno Drags. That's what MK, but this one's live. We're going to pop over. Inferno Drags by MKMA. All right. Helmal Mui. At least you didn't get perfected. That is true, Jeffrey General Boo. All right. Helmal Mui has a hybrid. You know, a well executed hybrid is such a beautiful thing. Okay, we've got the Blimp taking out. Scatter shot under kind of heavy fire from that Tesla farm and the queen. I'm sorry, the king. Uh, our queen, our Hellamal's queen, gonna take down the king. Coco Loon found a black mine. We have some other loons sitting there on that eagle. Are they gonna get that eagle down? It looks like, mm, yes, we do. The loons get down the eagle. That was nice. That was a nice move. And now, which way? Okay, he's going to wall break in. So I guess Helamal is hoping that the queen will path back kind of towards the outside and then back in again. Bunny hopping between compartments. Right now she's all over the enemy queen. Took care of that. Targeted by the scatter shot though. Clan castle out. 
So the queen is over there working on the storage. We've got the uh, hybrid army heading in towards the town hall. The clan castle is out and poisoned. Those super minions are a menace. And they're not yet dead. We have all kinds of troops on the town hall. We have our warden ability used through there. Our queen is going to bang through that wall and go grab that scatter. That's a nice thing for her to do. And she'll probably grab that Tesla farm as well, which is an additional nice thing for her to do. Um, we've got her moving in towards the remaining defenses on the left. Two Infernos, Queen, Dead, King, Royal Champion, Frozen, the Inferno Tower, and we now the, the healers are on the champ, so that's a nice thing. We have a Freeze spell remaining. I am going to say Hellamal Mui has gonna, is going to triple it out for Benelux Esports. This is very nicely done. Nice execution there by Helamal Mui. Congratulations. We do get a triple from Benelux Esports. Very lovely. Hello, Blood Moon Titan. How are you? All right. So this is over before it's over. Um, Benelux Esports ends with an 11. MKMA ends with a 13. I think that last hit was a triple. So let's finish watching M's hit on Helamal Mui because we did not watch the entirety of this with the Inferno Dragons. So, yes. I-P-O-P. Ip-op. Is that like hip-hop without the H? I don't know what that means. I don't know what Ip means. But hello, Blood Moon Titan. O-L-P-O-P. -P. O L P is Hello Mal Mui. Okay. Does, does Helamo Mooley run another account that's called LP? I think so. I think I see. So I run this fantasy clash thing and I see these these names. And I just don't know, always know who, who goes with what. So like I did not know until right now that Jeffrey was General Boo. Hammy gave me the clue on that. Oh, he name changed it. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Oh, he's Lecker Bezig. Okay, I've seen that one too. How, like I do, I need a cross-reference. I need someone to make for me a sweet-ass database of player names and tags. And if you could cross-reference that with their Twitch names and Twitter names, that'd be great. <laughs> Can I ask one of you to do that for me? <laughs> You're welcome, Victor. Thank you for having me and doing all the graphics and making it super easy. <laughs> I enjoy it. I, I, you know what? I like it's weird as a streamer. Why do you like some tournaments better than others? I like it's hard for me to exactly say, but I like streaming pit. I don't know, but I don't know. Like, I, you know, you get into the clan and you stream the war. So, are, are they really that different? But I don't know. Pit's fun. I like pit. I'm still mad at pit but I like them. Oh, that was a lovely hit by M. I am going to say MKMA did a fantastic job on this war. Uh, Benelux, nice, nice try. Good to see LP triple it out for, um, for Benelux Esports. Our overall result, MKMA with the win, 13 to 11. They put up a 98.8% um, destruction versus the 11 and the 90.2 by Benelux Esports. So, solid war. Good job on both sides. Congratulations to MKMA on making it to playoffs. Benelux Esports, I'm just going to have to watch you in the next tournament. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for joining me today. This has been very fun. Um, happy Saturday. I am Christine the Mean, and I am signing off. So we will catch you here next time. Thanks so much, guys. Talk to you later.